Hi everybody, welcome to another um, drill with me. I am actually going to work on my um, my Star Wars one. He, he's so cute. Okay, um, but first I want to tell you how I um, prepared this kit and how I'm going to prepare all the Star Wars ones. So, what I have is the Harbor Freight containers washi tape the harbor freight containers okay they're labeled one through 24 plus anything more than 24 is in this zippy ziplock bag also labeled with one through whatever these are the same labels i use for the seasons tree now, the reason I am doing it this way, um, with the numbers like that, instead of using the um, actual DMC codes, is because I'm going to use the same system for all of the Star Wars ones. Um, oh, if I can shift this. Oh, God. Why? Okay. Um, and some of the... Um, I thought it would be easier... To keep everything named um, with numbers um, because the inventory sheet has it labeled as the numbers and um, this will help me keep from having to redo the labels through every picture I can just reuse the boxes reuse the containers um, so like one was my 5200s so and then two is w which is my fit 159 so i look at the canvas to see the symbol look on here to see the number that's where i pull it from now um what i have been doing is that i have been doing one symbol at a time um as you can see from the <laughs> having the background done um i started doing it a little bit at a time but I was like, okay, I'm just going to do the, the background, get that over with, and it'll make this picture not seem as daunting. So, I'm hoping to have this, this one done. Hopefully within another week. I was hoping I'd have it quicker, um, but hopefully within another week. And then, it will be my decision. Um, the next decision will be which one to do next. So, I've got one, two three four five six more pictures are like this and so i thought that maybe i would go ahead and ask my subscribers what they would like to see me do um i did do an unboxing for all of these but i'll show you the what the pictures that i have and i do have some more um in the cart on aliexpress but i've not pushed the button yet on those so um Let's get these done first. Okay, so I'm gonna let you all decide which one you wanna see next. So um, I have Princess Leia. Luke Skywalker. All these have got the, the white background, so there's gonna be start out with a bunch of 5200 or 3864. Um, Chewbacca. Han Solo. See, his is a 3865 instead of 5200. So Han Solo. Ray. Or Darth Vader. So you all tell me which one you would like me to do, which one you would like to see. And that will be the next one that I do after I get done with C3PO and R2D2. Sorry for my head being in the camera. So. Okay. Okay. So. Um, what I. What I did off camera while I was waiting for my video to upload. For my um, whip. As you can see I got a few runaway red in there um i just did the k's 
over here in the chicker box. So I was just going to fill them in real quick. And um, I actually got some of the Aline's um, putty. And I'm trying that out. Um, so far it's not too bad. I mean, I know everybody kind of swears by it. Um, I've tried Loctite. I've tried the... Um, the Hobby Lobby brand and I just never really cared for it but this seems pretty good now tomorrow I am expecting um, some wax pencils similar to the one that my friend Cheryl um, told me about um, so I'm gonna try those out see if I like them um, if I do, I will um, use them occasionally. I don't know if I'll be like 100% only using that. Um, so I will um, post a video on that just to and try it out just to see how I like it. Um, but today, let me show you what came in today um, besides the Aline's Tacky. Today, I, um, <laughs> I, um, I had two of these trays like this, had two of them, plus I had, um, a one that had the, um, the spout, so I had three big ones, um, and I'm still waiting on my trays that, that's in the four, four symbols, um, not four symbols, but the four sides, um, still waiting on those. Hopefully those will be shipped out soon. But in the meantime, just so that when I'm doing like my big paintings and I don't, and I got a lot of confetti and I don't want to change colors all the time. Yeah. I got eight of these. <laughs> I got these off of Amazon. I'll try to remember to post the link down in the description. Um, but yeah, they're the kinds that's got the um, little orange stopper on it that you can take take out and lift up and put your drills back into your um, containers. So yeah, I got these. So when I'm working on my big pictures, I'll be all set if I when I don't want to change colors every every two seconds. So oh, oh god, I'm sorry about that. So um, I will be able to. Um, work with two or three different colors at one time. Um, kind of like what um, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee um, posted in Rambling Rose. Um, except I just went ahead and, you know what? I don't think that was supposed to be that color. Um, let's see, can I pull it? Nope, it wasn't. Okay. So, all right. Um, well, the news is, is that um, the giveaway winner, Diamond Painting with Jerry, has already gotten a hold of me. So, I will be mailing out her storage unit um, on Saturday. So congratulations, Jerry. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't do it sooner, but I am working a very long day tomorrow and, um, and Friday. And by the time I get off work, the post office will be closed. So, um, and I don't have enough time during lunch because I only get half an hour lunch to be able to close the post office at lunch. So, but since you live in Oklahoma, you should receive it on Monday. Now, um, two diamond paintings that I did send out, one to um, Cheryl and one to Cam, who was my first mystery um, partner swap. Um, I sent theirs out on a Saturday and they got it on Monday and they were in um, Utah and Ohio. So with you being in Oklahoma, it should be no problem with you getting it on Monday. So, um, 
So definitely look for that on Monday. I will um, send you a tracking number as soon as I um, get it mailed out. So yeah, so congratulations. Um, thanks everybody again for entering. This is only the first of my giveaways that I will be having. Um, I just want to be able to give something back to the people who take the time to watch my videos and um, comment and um, enjoy being with me. So um, I hope that you all will continue to stick with me and um, hopefully not just for the giveaways. Um, and so, yeah. So again, congratulations, Jerry. And um, look for that. Um, look for my email with the tracking number on Saturday. And um, yeah, and you should receive that on Monday. So, okay. Now that that is done, I have, um, don't forget on the 28th um, of this month, it will be the um, the giveaway for the um, snowman paintings. Um, I will be doing that one after we get back from watching the Avengers. So that's at three. Um, so the movie's three hours long. The movie starts at noon. So three, three thirty. By the time we get out of the theater, it's about half an hour drive home unless we go out to eat first. Um, so look for that sometime in the evening, hopefully before Game of Thrones comes on. Um, so, yeah. But if you have not already um, commented on that video, please go do so. Um, so that I can have a wider um, array of people to offer it to. And, um, yeah. So... Okay, now that that is done, I do want to let y'all know that this Saturday, hopefully this Saturday, I am going to be rearranging my craft room. If you could see my craft room right now, you would be like, oh my god, how is she even walking in there? It is a disaster, okay? I mean, literally. Um, I want to take out these... Um, these plastic um, build shelves, I guess. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, take those out because right now it's facing that that wall over there, over there. And um, I want to move my table over there to that wall. Um, and then I'm going to take all my coloring books that I have and put them away um, except for my Jasmine Becker Griffith because that's probably the only one that I would color in um, and then take everything that's in these shelves over here and put them in my nine um, cubicle um, cube shelf that I have over here that's currently housing all my coloring books so, and then I got some um, hangers to hang my current um, paintings that I'm working on. I'm going to hang those up um, just against the wall. I'm not going to, because if y'all, y'all know what my closet looks like in here. It's a disaster. Um, that hopefully that will get cleaned out. So, but right now my whips are sitting on a table. Um that I would love to be able to use for something else. So, um, those would be placed on a hanger, um, to, um, hang up. It'd be, hopefully be easier to get to and, um, put away when I'm not working on it, working on them. Um, and right now I got most of my bigger paintings, um, rolled up. I know I, I, I do, I rolled them back up, um, just cause I needed the space. Um, and right now they were all just gathered up on the table and I needed, um, again, I needed the space. So, 
I'm going to, um, and I don't know if you can see it, but those three totes right there, those are drills of different kits. Um, they are not organized at all. They are in, um, they're either in their original um, bags with the inventory sheets or they are in um, gallon Ziploc bags with the inventory sheets. I would love to be able to get that a little bit more organized. Um, so that is a plan also. Um, and in the middle of doing all this, I still like to diamond paint. So and <laughs> there you go and we we're planning on doing some yard work this weekend so susan's gonna be busy crazy busy um so yeah but it's good it's good it's good it's it's i need to be doing something um constructive okay let's see i'm looking for any more k's and I don't see any, although I do see a nine, and I've already placed a nine, so I need to grab one of that. Okay, so the K's are done. Let me get my container. And then once I'm done with this painting, even though all the colors are the same, because I got them off of the same company, they will be placed in individual um, Ziploc bags. So, I did manage to get that done. I did manage to get um, my extra um, Ever Moment drills into um, little baggies and put away. So, um, that I did manage to do. Um, so, so right now I have extra Ever Moment drills and extra Timney Art drills. Um, so I've only got one more Timney Art painting. It's, um, they call it like this, um, the monster mask, but it's not, it's real pretty. Um, so I don't know why they call it that, but they do. But, yeah. Okay, so the N was 21. Uh, I'm just gonna pop out one. That's all I need is just one. Okay. The bad thing about the Harbor Freight um, system is that the, the drills get caught in the the creases on here like right here you have to tap it to to get them loose so i'm actually done with these so all these here are extra drills um from from this painting so okay let's see what do i want to do next um let's do you you is the last number so that would be 3866. So that's number 34. So we just go through here, find 34. It's kind of like a cream, cream color. I don't know how long this drill, this drill with me is going to be because it's it's getting kind of late and I don't want to um, I gotta edit the the whip video because I boo booed and um, hopefully by the time you see this I'd already fixed it and if you'd seen that you would like oh okay um, for some reason I mi I said that my father passed away in 2013 he um, he actually passed away in 20 in 2003. He passed away the year before me and my husband got married. So, um, that, the picture that I showed in that video, um, 
it was actually 2004 or 2005, probably 2005. Um, so yeah, so that was me boo-booing. Apparently, I don't know when my father passed away. So it's been, but I do know when my mom died. She passed away February of 2016. She actually died the day after I got my puppy, after I got Ray. And um, I don't know if I said this before in another video, and if I did, I apologize for repeating it. But um, Ray was my saving grace after my mom passed away. She... Um, she traveled with me on the road because my job took me on the road every day. That's all I did was travel. Um, and she, she would go with me and she, she kept me sane like nothing else did. Um, so it was, she, she couldn't have come at a better time. And I just love her to death. And I will say that up here, there is a couple of spots that I had gotten something on it. And to get it off, I pretty much had to tear the canvas, not tear the canvas, but pull the glue off. So I'm going to have to put some, um, some Elmer's clear glue up there before I can get the drills on there. So... I'm not sure what happened there. I really not because I tried to be careful. Um, so I um, usually try to use the parchment squares. And I do want to say that um, from what I understand, the parchment squares idea first appeared on YouTube from Lorna. Um, although I haven't seen the video where she mentioned it. Um, so my first person that I saw that did it was Valerie. Um, I felt like I gave credit to the person that I needed to give credit to. Um, but I will give credit to Lorna too. Um, so, yeah. And, let's see. I've been wanting to, um... I think this weekend, if I do a drill with me, I think I'm going to talk about podcasts. Um, just because it's something I enjoy listening to. And I listen to a lot of good ones, and I kind of want to share it with you. I don't know if you all um, listen to um, listen to podcasts and what kind you listen to. Um, I like to listen to um, real crime podcasts. Um I think it is interesting to hear different um, perspectives of crimes that have happened, especially if you got multiple podcasts doing the same subject. I think that that adds an interesting twist to it because you are you are listening to different um, people's perspectives. And I did um, Wendy from Gone Off My Meds. She mentioned. I think I mentioned this before. She mentioned that she listened to um, the podcast Morbid. And um, because of that, I started listening to it. And um, like I said, I think I mentioned this before. So again, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, they've got a good podcast. Um, so I've been trying to do a lot of catching up on my podcast because... I first started listening to them when I was on the road just to have something to listen to when I didn't have an audio book. Um, so, um, that's how I kind of discovered, um, really, really discovered podcasts was, was when I was on the road, um, Because I would travel to um, into Oklahoma and up into Missouri, and you listen to the radio station, you're gonna lose those radio stations that you're listening to. So you had to find something that you can listen to, and um, 
If it wasn't an audio book, it would be a podcast. Um, I also like to listen to, sometimes I like to listen to um, radio dramas, meaning it's it's kind of like listening to a TV show almost. Um, I don't know if you all have ever heard of Welcome to Night Vale. Um, that one is is really a it's a joy to listen to. It's been a long time since I've listened to it though, and I really need to um, before I even start listening to it again. I really need to start all over just because it's been so long. Um, but that one is really really interesting. It's pretty much just one person, kind of like he is a um, a radio. Um, a radio jockey or a um, TV newscaster and he tells the things about what's going on in, in Night Vale and of course it's it's fiction and everything And but the town is just full of craziness I mean um, God it's been so long I don't even know if I can do it justice just talking about it um, but if you, if you do listen to podcasts and you're looking for something different to listen to, um, definitely, um, check out Welcome to Night Vale. Um, but yeah, I'll go more into the different podcasts I listen to, um, when I do my with it, when I do my, um, drill with me this weekend. So I need to, um, what... What painting would you all like me to do my drill with me on? Um, the three that I have going right now is, um, of course, the custom of my husband. Um, but if we pick that one, um, a lot of it's going to be one color with color blocking. So just to preface that by saying that. Um, then I have my, um, my Alice in Wonderland one. Um, then I have my mystery raffle one or the first mystery drill, mystery one that I got from camp. So you all let me know what you would like to see and I will work on it. Otherwise I will just pick one, <laughs> pick whatever one my heart feels like working on. I'm hoping to at least do something on all of them. But I don't know if I'll do a drill with me on all of them. So, if there's one particular one that you would like to see, um, let me know. So. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I'm working on R2-D2 right now. Um, so. I really love these movies, and I can't wait for the lab, for the next one to come out this year. I know a lot of people give them um, hell and everything because they don't like them, but I like them. I like the prequels. I like the originals. I like the new ones. I just love everything about the Star Wars universe. Um, I always have. So, I found an 8 there, so I need to drop a 5200. Where did I see that? Right there. I need the 5200 right there. Um, so, yeah. I'm just a regular old glorified fangirl, I guess. But, um, speaking of being a fangirl, I found a picture of Jaina Proudmore from, um, World of Warcraft that I am itching, 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 wanting to get a custom of so bad. I even sent it to Zoe to get a quote um, for me for it. Um, I won't be able to order it right away, um, but it would be nice to at least know what I will be looking at um, if I want to get it. Um, if I'm able to, I will try to insert a picture here, um, of that picture that I want to 
um, put in there. I'll try to do it like I did that picture of the shield, like I did in that one video. So, but I've not seen very many um, World of Warcraft paintings out there. I know that there is one of Sylvanas from somewhere. And I did find another picture of Sylvanas that I would love to have as well, but um, I would, um, my son likes to make fun of me because I'm more alliance than horde, but I would, um, I would pick Jaina over, over anything right now when it comes to World of Warcraft, except if it was a custom of one of my characters. <laughs> if it was a custom of one of my characters, I would definitely have to, have to pick it just because I'm a little biased. <laughs> so and me and my husband we were going to try to play some WoW last weekend and we never got around to it that made me sad but it happens so he's been binge watching his um, his DC Universe channel that he subscribed to and um, I was painting and doing all kinds of other things so Trying to prepare for the season premiere of um, Game of Thrones, which I won't say anything about it because I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen it. But I will say that the hour went by fast. Literally, when they started rolling the credits for the end of the show, at the end of that episode, I was like, I looked over at my husband, I'm like, has it been an hour? Seriously? It was like over that quick. I was like, I guess there's just so much going on. And they showed just about everybody in that opening episode. Um, that it just seemed like it just it just went by so fast. It's like there wasn't a um, stopping point at all in the whole episode. So, it's a good one. It's starting off to a good start. Like I said, I won't give anything away. Um... Because I try not to post, I try not to give spoilers um, if I can avoid it. Um, so that's what's going to be hard. Because when I go and watch the Avengers, I am going to want to talk about it. <laughs> so if I do end up talking about it in the video, I'm going to just have to put like some kind of disclaimer saying, uh, "If you haven't seen the Avengers and you don't want to know what happens, don't watch this part." <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see that. I know it's going to be emotional. I know that. It was emotional. Infinity Wars was emotional. So I know that um, Endgame is going to be just as emotional. So. Do you all do this a lot when you're doing your... If, if you're doing smaller paintings, do you... Um, try to focus on just one symbol at a time. I think that's called, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, diamond painting with Eskies, I think she said it was extreme cross-country diamond painting. Um, if that's wrong, let me know. If I'm right, let me know. That way I'll know if I'm right or not. Um, where you just focus on one color at a time. Um, I don't mind when it's a small picture like this. Um, but I definitely don't on the bigger pictures. Um, I will do sections at a time, as you've seen. Um, now I started to do that with my picture of my puppy and, um, trying to go through and find all the colors for that one that I was trying to do. It's like, no, that's too much of a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to do that. Excuse my French. Um. I normally don't cuss. And the other pic that painting that video I did the other just earlier today, um I said the S word twice and I'm sorry. Um I said I don't normally curse, so but um yeah, so let me know if you do if on smaller paintings that you all um if you do work on just one color at a time or if you still do sections 
Now, when I was doing this season's tree, um, I was doing each tree one at a time. So as I would working on one tree, I would do, because the way that was set up is that all the colors, of course, the only colors that were um, shared among f the four sections was like the sky. Um, so other than the sky, um, different shades of the sky that I had um, when I was working on the individual parts of the tree, it only had those certain colors. So it was easy just to be able to do um, at each color um, by itself. So <laughs> I will be honest with you. I think when I first kitted up that, um, that painting, I accidentally put two colors together. I accidentally put two two dark blues together um, and then when I pulled them, poured them out into the tray you could kind of see that one was lighter than the other and I cheated <laughs> I will admit it I cheated I just started placing the drills when I got down to those were the only two colors remaining on the entire painting I just started placing drills I didn't even worry about trying to make it to the right symbol just because I was not going to try to focus um, my poor eyesight trying to make sure that everything is in the right place. Um, it was my fault that it happened like that because I did, I wasn't paying any attention when I was kitting it up. And my mother-in-law, she hasn't said anything to me about it looking wonky. So, I am going to just let it ride. She loved it, by the way. She really loved it when I gave it to her last Friday. Um, so that was that was good. I wish I had found this this hobby when my mom was still alive, because I see pictures all the time that she would have loved, and I would have loved to have done them for her. Um, no, she'll never, she'll never see him. So. And I haven't decided if when I am done with these small ones, if I, um, what kind of frame or I'm going to put them on. I thought about it first, maybe just using, um, the artist can the artist canvas like painter's canvas and um doing it that way or if i want to um put them in the frame um so i'm still debating on that so we'll see what happens when i get done i don't even know how you would mount it on the on a on a canvas like that. I mean, do you, um, I need to watch some drill, some, um, paintings, not paintings. I need to watch some videos on how to do that. I think, um, didn't Ella have some like that? I just haven't caught on to it yet. Um, or somebody do, um, videos with the painter's canvas. Um, so I know that at Walmart you can buy, a um a set of canvas canvases that would fit this size picture so um it's available i just need to know if i get it how i would go about getting it on the canvas i know that i would have to seal the picture which i do have the um the mod podge glitter that um i watched Stitcherista do in a in a video. Um, I watched her do it. If somebody else has got a video out there that has done that, please let me know and I will give you proper credit. Um, so get on there. But 
Yeah, I, I ordered some of that from Amazon because I couldn't find any at um, Walmart or Hobby Lobby, the glitter kind. So, um, so my, again, my ask of everybody is that you all let me know which one you would like me to do next. Um, of my Star Wars pictures. Again, I've got Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca, Han Solo, Darth Vader, and Rey from the new movies. Um, so, I am open to doing any of them. So, whatever you all decide, I will do. I also... Um, I haven't published the videos yet, but I've got a video of me unboxing um, three Japanese girls videos, f paintings from Real Shining. Um, but what I do have is um, I have a whole set of them that I had gotten from Home Fun, kind of like these. Um, and like the Star Wars ones, I have grouped, um, I put the diamonds together since same company, same type of video, same type of um, canvases. Um, I just grouped them together. Um, you would think that the dye lot would not be that big of a difference. So um, I'll show you those inventory sheets. Um, because I can't wait to do those two. Maybe I'll go back and forth. Maybe I'll do a Star Wars one and then do one of those. Let me see how big those paintings are. I want to say they're the same size. So, um, yeah, these are 30 by 40 as well. So I've got, I'm trying to make sure I don't. So I got that one. got that one that one well, that one's all yellow I love that one This is the last one. Nope. That one. This is the last one. And that one. So, let me know if you would like me um, to do a... And I'll probably kit these up the same exact way because, yeah. I just do the colors like I did. Like I'm doing with the Star Wars ones. With the numbering, the, letter, the numbers and everything. So let me know if you want me to do a, another Star Wars one or if you want me to do a um, Japanese girl one. Like I said, I'm open to any of it. So yeah, let me know. I tried to get my husband to tell me which one he wanted me to do next. And he didn't help me. He didn't, he didn't need any help with this. He's like, oh, whatever. He's like, you can do Yoda. I'm like, I don't have Yoda. How can I do Yoda? I have a puzzle of Yoda, but I don't have a diamond painting of Yoda. But actually, I do. Um, he's just in the cart. <laughs> I haven't ordered him yet. So, yeah. I think that in my cart right now, I have Yoda, um, Kylo Ren. I want to say Boba Fett. Um, I think that's it. I think I just got another three in the in my um in my cart right now so okay let's see oh 
some of these trims. Okay. Uh, I think I've just about got all the U's done. So if my head is in the camera, I'm sorry. I don't mean for it to be. A whole line of them up here. So, um, I got asked a question from um, Rosette. She asked me about um, when I keep mentioning about going to town to upload my videos, um, and if I really do have a bad connection here. Um, honestly. When I upload videos and I'm at home, I have to use the data from my phone. Um, I'm just glad that now I've got unlimited. Um, so I don't have to pay extra if I go over my monthly allowance. Um, the internet is not that great here. It really isn't. Um, it's a lot better than what we had. We did have um, satellite service which if you all have ever had satellite service, I'm not talking like the kind you get from direct TV. I'm talking about, um, the kind that you get from like cell phone towers. Um, yeah, that sucked major. Um, when we first got it, we thought it was great, you know, because you're coming from dial up and anything is better than dial up. I mean, come on, let's face it. Um, but after a while, it got to where a lot of people were using that service. And the more people that use it, the less effective it is for, other, for everybody else. So, say like during the day, during the summer, um, or even during the weekends, if a lot of people were using it, yeah, we were pretty much out of luck we were pretty much stuck in the water because we weren't able to do anything at all um i mean i think at point, times like that we were like well you know maybe we should have stayed with dial up which you know was freaking god awful because when we had dial up whenever we would go play try to play world of warcraft we'd go to um iron forge and our latency would be like freaking ten thousand. Um, which if you know anything about latency in games, that's not good. Um, so, but right now we have DSL and we are at the end of the line. I mean, the very end of the line. So our signal isn't as great as people who are at the front of the line, I guess you could say. And... Every time we have a huge rainstorm or um, anything that would affect our phone, like if we have, um, if we even get just a little bit of static on our phone um, coming from anywhere, our service would just deplete. You, it wouldn't matter how many times you reset the router, your internet is not going to get any better. And when you've got four people using the Wi-Fi on that service, you're not going to get a very good service. So whenever I mention about going to town to upload... It probably usually means that I have to go to Walmart for some reason or another. And I was just going to wait to upload at Walmart and use their Wi-Fi. Um, which admittedly isn't the greatest either. But it's a little bit faster than what I got at home. So, yeah. But we do live in rural Arkansas. Um... Hey, my, hey, my arm going across that canvas. So, yeah. We stuck with what we got. And right now, 
whenever we have rain, because we live on a dirt road, whenever we have rain, we have the roads get tore up. And when the roads get tore up, they help the roads by grading the roads. Well, a couple years ago, when they graded the road, the person that graded it actually cut our phone slash internet line, internet cable. And um, our phone company's bright idea of fixing it is putting a new line in and just draping the line over the fence. So for the last three or four years, our phone line has just been draped over a fence instead of being buried in the ground like it's supposed to. And this last time, we had to, um, I don't know how to keep from, okay. Let's do it this way. This last time, when our service was really shoddy, um, they had to put in a brand new line because somebody else's line was messed up. And what they do? They dragged it over the fence. So now there are two lines draped over the fence. Hello? Can you not see a problem with this? For some reason, they feel that they are just not going to come in and bury the cable like they should. So every time that we have a grader that comes and fixes the road, we take the chance of them just slicing through the line again and completely losing phone service, completely losing DSL, everything. So, yeah, that's what we deal with here. <sighs> yeah, it's not a very good situation. But, unfortunately, we have to deal with what we have. And there's nothing else we can do. Because I refuse to go back to dial-up. And I refuse to go back to satellite. So... We don't even hardly use our phone line anymore because the only people that ever call us is telemarketers or um, whatever. So, a piece of hair stuck or something. There it goes. But, yeah. Boy, I've really ranted a lot in this video, haven't I? So, I think that I'm going to finish laying these used down. And I am going to call it a night because I have to, um, I need to edit the video for the whip. I need to edit the video for the whip one so I can go back and put the correct year that my father passed away instead of the wrong year. And, um and get that published. So, and get this one uploaded and published as well. I still have some unboxing videos done. I did do my last unboxing one for, um, for Real Shining. Um, and there's also, keep a listen out on that one because there is a, um, painting that I am offering to give away. So, um, So, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this here and um, go lay down, watch. Um, I saw that Wendy put up a new video where she unboxed the Diamond Art Club. One of her is going to be one of the new ones. Um, so, 
Let me show you what has been done. Okay, so put the K's over here. This is on the background. This is this part. Oh, you can't see it. Worked on that part right there. Right here. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And then I've started the, or I think I actually finished. I don't think I saw any more. So that color's done. I do have to put a 5200 over here. Let me put that down real quick before I forget. Just grab this one that's hanging on to the lid. I actually thought I saw one over here too. Yep. This one's got some gain stoppables in it. So it's like I open up the container and it's like, mmm, it smells good. <laughs> okay. That's done. Okay. So that is what I've done. Um, So, my asks of you all have been, um, which drill with which painting do you want me to work on this weekend with for my drill with me? Um, and after I'm done with this, do you want me to do another Star Wars one or one of the little Japanese girls one? If I do the Japanese girls one, I'll probably do the yellow one one first, um, just because that's my favorite. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, let me know and. Um, I will probably, like I said, I'm working mostly on this one um, during the evening while we're working out. Um, just because I can do do some while my husband and my son are taking their turns. Um, that's how I've been able to get as much done as I have been. So, okay. Um, let me know what you all want me to do. And I will um, catch you on the next one. Um, again, congratulations to Diamond Painting with Jerry. Um, I will get your storage unit out to you um, on Saturday. You should receive it on Monday. And, um, yep, yeah, I will talk to you all later. Have a great night. Bye.